Hello, and thank you for joining us today for this five minute demo about surveys and tickets in ServiceNow. Surveys are a powerful way to create a feedback loop with your end users and enable a process of continuous improvement within your IT organization. But it can be difficult at times to quickly find out which incidents these survey responses are related to. Today, we have Brian Watson, one of our ServiceNow solution consultants, here to tell us about the relationship between these items. Thank you, Sam. Today, we're gonna to talk about how surveys are related to tickets. Specifically, how you can find out which ticket is related to a completed survey, or how to find out which surveys were completed for a specific ticket. Let's start with a review of the various components involved and the relationship to each other. We're gonna start with the survey definition record. So this record outlines what the survey is. It's got information on the triggering conditions. It's got information on um, the questions and there is a one-to-many relationship. So the questions are not actually part of the survey definition record. They are separate but related records to that. Um, and, and in that same vein, when a survey record uh, should be generated for a particular uh, survey given the triggering conditions, what it actually generates is a survey instance record that contains information specific to that instance of the survey, such as who was sent to, the, the task record it was related to. I'm using the example of an incident, but really could be any task record, uh, as well as the individual responses. And the responses, uh, again, because there's potentially multiple questions to any survey, uh, they're not part of the survey instance record. They're separate but related records, and they're actually related both to the question, so we know what question is being responded to. We have the question here, their response, and then the response is also related to the survey instance, so we know who's the one that responded, which task it's related to, etc. So you can see pretty quickly that really what we want to hone in on here is this survey instance record uh, when we're trying to find uh, out this information of what, what task record is related to a survey. We'll dive into the instance here real quick. And uh, you can see I've typed survey here. I have my survey section up. Uh, we're looking at the survey instances instances <laughs> section here. And I've clicked on completed. So we have this uh, uh, list view right here. What we don't have though is a proper column being shown. So I'm gonna personalize the view and I'm gonna add the task column to it. Click OK. And now we're going to see in this demo uh, instance, uh, I only have one actual survey that's tied to an incident record. The rest of this is, is demo data. This is one I did for the sake of, of this example a while back. Uh, and so basically, if you are trying to find out any particular survey, uh, what record it's tied to, you can come here and let's say that you have the incident number and you want to see, did anybody respond to a survey about this incident? You can simply come to this view, take this incident number, you know, for example, just copy that and you can come here and say, okay, show me any surveys that were completed for that instance, or sorry, that incident record. And then there you go. That's exactly what you would have right there. And normally you're going to find one because typically you're only going to have one survey sent out for a particular incident or whatnot. But then you could go into this instance, see the responses to the questions and find out what this person had to say about that um, incident. Uh, sometimes you're, you're going the opposite direction though. You're uh, looking at it from a survey, you know, response. You're looking at the survey responses. So if I come over here to the survey responses, uh, and I'm I'm going to search for those questions here just because I know this particular one happens to have a related record on the uh, task table. The other ones don't. So you're looking at some of these questions and uh, seeing them, and maybe you want to do some follow up or something like that. You want to find out what record it's related to. You can come here and grab this um, assessment instance. That's what the AINST stands for, so survey instance. Uh, and then you can go to the survey instances table, go to completed, and then you would simply search for that. You go to the number here, type our asterisk and the number, and then we're going to find, okay, here's the one we're looking for, and here's the related incident. So that uh, pretty much concludes this. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, and back to you, Sam. Thanks, Brian. That's it for now. For more information about surveys and incidents or your ServiceNow instance in general, please visit us at www.vertiva.com or email us at info at Thanks everyone.